Welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Ken Ackerman. We're on the set of the TV hit show Graham on NBC. If you watch it, you'll recognize the spice shop behind me. So glad you're with us. You know that children as young as five and six years old contemplate suicide. It's disturbing. To tell us more, we welcome Drew McWilliams, Chief Operating Officer of the Morrison Child and Family Services Center. Thanks for being with us. That is unbelievable. How do children five and six know what suicide is? It depends on that child. Sometimes they've heard this from other family members or they've seen this on TV and on one level they know they're unhappy about something or they're frustrated or they're struggling and so um, young kids get depressed too, just like adults. Now tell me more about the services that are provided with the Morrison uh, Child and Family Services Center. Right. Well, we serve uh, almost 6,000 kids a year. And then when you add their family members, it's, it's uh, above and beyond that. And so we have a very large outpatient for mental health services. Uh, we've also got specialized programs to help adolescents with substance abuse. Uh, we've got, um, we do the whole ages of birth to up to 21. Hmm. And as you can imagine, Ken, working with the families and the parents and the siblings is essential for kids to get the support they need, make the changes they need, be successful in school and so forth. With the transformation of the Oregon health system, uh, there have to be pros and cons as far as you're concerned and the services you provide. What, what are those pros and cons? Right. Well, with the Center for Medicaid and Medicare Services, um, which is the federal program around um, Medicaid, and that gets funneled into state dollars to be the Oregon Health Plan. Um, they've got a triple aim uh, at this time of trying to have better care, better outcomes, and lower costs. So as you can imagine, um, uh, we want better care and we want better outcomes. We want people getting what they need sure. um, and uh, dealing with lower costs. That's, uh, that's a worry for us. and so. Uh, one of the things that we've done a lot of is involving our parents and family members who want to be a part of advocating for their needs, both within our agency, they give us a lot of feedback on how they want mm -hmm. things to be uh, done well for their kids, as well as advocating at the local uh, Portland level, the county level, tri-county sure. level, and at the state. Morrison uh, Child and Family Services Center has been around 65 years. Yes. You've been there for 14 of those. How have you seen it grow and in, in what direction are you headed as right. far as um, services you provide? Well, when I came 14 years ago, um, we had a, a smaller outpatient and over time, um, some of the other organizations that had smaller outpatients couldn't with, you know, sustain that. So um, we went from almost um, a million dollars worth of services, which is really staff helping right. kids, to almost seven million uh, dollars worth of staff services and outreach and additional locations throughout the uh, Tri-County region. So that's one of the things that we do. Um, and then we have what is called day treatment, which works with local public schools mm -hmm. and have special ed teachers where we have our therapy or our substance abuse staff working alongside the school staff for kids that need, you know, intensive, you know, coming five days a week mm -hmm. to school and getting treatment services. Plus we have foster care homes where we've got about 60 of them right now where we have specialized foster homes that um, have parents that know how to work with uh, that five and six year old that's struggling right. with depression or suicide or that adolescent that's struggling with substance abuse. Well, the bad news is we need a center like the Morrison Center. The good news is that you are here. So we appreciate uh, you joining us and sharing with us what uh, you do for our community. Drew McWilliams, thank you. We want to thank you for being here as well. Make it a great day, everyone.